Hello and welcome to the StatCast Laravel to-do app instruction series. Throughout this series, I'm going to take you through the steps that I took to complete my own personal to-do task app. And this series is going to be designed for people who have little to no exposure in Laravel, but who want to get familiar quickly. The reason why I chose to create a to-do task app is because it allows us to create, retrieve, update, and delete data in our database, also known as CRUD. This is an important set of skills because you can create pretty much anything if you know how to do these following things. Throughout this series, I'm going to walk you through creating views, routes, using the Laravel Artisan command line tool, and a lot more. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned. I look forward to seeing you in our series and feel free to drop a comment below if you have any questions on any of the related videos. Either I or one of your fellow viewers will try to help you out. All right, let's get started. So before we get started on our app, we're going to need to make sure that we have the Laravel Global Installer available and the Laravel Valet development environment. So this is going to be the two things that we'll need and we'll be using this throughout this series. So the Laravel Global Installer, if you're not familiar with it, allows you to install a Laravel project throughout your machine and it'll pull in the latest version of Laravel and all of its dependencies. And this requires that you have Composer installed on your machine as well. And Laravel Valet will give you a nice development environment which will allow you to run PHP and MySQL on your machine. So this will be a consistent environment that you can use and you and your team can use as well. So we'll need to have both of these installed before we continue. So from within my projects directory, I can check that I have the Laravel installer available by typing Laravel. And at the time of this recording, the latest version is 3.0.1. And I can also check that I have Valet successfully installed as well by doing Valet version. And then that's gonna be version 2.9.0, or you can just type Valet to make sure that you have it successfully installed. All right. So this is all the commands that are available to Valet, and then these are the commands that are available to your Laravel project. The one that we're gonna be using right now is Laravel new. So now I just need to create my new Laravel project by doing Laravel new and the name of my app, so to-do-app. So this is just gonna take a few seconds. Okay, so you can see my Laravel app has been successfully created. So Valet will give you access to a new command called Valet Park. And what Valet Park does is, it, is it'll add all of the subdirectories within this project directory as a, a publicly available, or I mean a locally available website that I can access through my browsers. So to access it through my browser, I can just do uh, to do dash app dot T E S T. So test. And then this is the default Laravel installation screen and Valet will park your websites at the dot T E S T extension but you can customize this through the valet settings so you can change that here somewhere. So I have my app opened up in my code editor and what I'm going to do is open up our routing file and this is what's going to handle all the routing for all of our HTTP requests to our app. So within the routes web PHP file I'm going to delete this commented code out here and I want to map out what we're going to be doing throughout this course. So one of the first things that we're going to do is replace the home page. And then we're going to want to be able to create a task. And we're going to want to display a list of tasks. And we're going to want to mark a task as completed. Uh, we'll also want to divide the tasks into uh, completed and uncompleted sections. And then we'll also want to delete a task permanently. So this is what our plan is for this series. And first off, let's start with replacing our home page. So this route here with the slash, this is our base entry point into our app. So accessing uh, our app through our browser at todoapp.test is going to be pulling in our slash route functionality. So to test this, I could actually just return a string and I can say, hello there. And we could save that. And I can see that I have the string of hello there. So if I undo that, I can see that what we are returning currently is a welcome view. So when, within our resources and views directory, this is the view that is going to be loading our code for our home route. 
So we're currently using a view called welcome.blade.php. So this is Blade here. So this is what allows you to write this cool code, nice looking loops and stuff without having to write uh, PHP, but it is a PHP file. So you could actually write this in PHP if you're familiar with PHP at all. So you can do if uh, route has login, uh, we could do that as well. So I mean, this is just what it would look like within actual PHP. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just delete our file here, this welcome.blade file, and we are going to create a new file and we're going to call it uh, tasks.blade.php. And then what we'll have within our tasks file will just be a little um, h1 tag. And we'll just say hello task app. And we'll close that h1 tag out. So we should see that. Oh, OK. So what happened here is it's still trying to load the welcome view. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the web uh, within my web route file, I'm going to change the view that we are loading by just typing in welcome view and then we'll call it tasks. So this is the tasks view and then we'll just save this and we'll double check it now. So we'll see that we have our h1 hello task app tag there loading correctly. So because I know that we're going to be having multiple task related views, I'm going to create a task views directory and I'm going to actually create a file inside of our task directory to use. So I'm going to start with creating a new folder and I'm going to call it tasks. And I can just actually drag this in here. I don't have to create a new file. I can just drag that in here and I can rename that to uh, task.index. So tasks index. And as you can see, this is like kind of what it would look like is it, it's our views tasks folder and then we have our index.blade.php file. So to do that I could just return our view and instead of just returning a task view as we did earlier I can do tasks and not a slash but a dot I can do task.index and I can check that that's working by doing another test. Alright so that's working correctly. This routes file is allowing us to load a route within a directory by using this dot syntax. So I want to actually make this a correctly formatted HTML file. And to do that, I could just open up an HTML tag here. And I could have that close as well at the end. And within this, I'll have a head tag. And within our head tag, we we'll have a title that says our to-do app demo. And I'll close that title tag. And I'll close our head tag as well. And then within our body tag, I'm going to have our H1. So task list. And then this is going to have all of our tasks within it eventually. So I can refresh this. Not much has changed, but we'll see that it is kind of ugly looking. So what I want to do is add a little bit of styling before we wrap up this video. And to do that, I want to add in Bootstrap. And if you're not familiar with Bootstrap, uh, it's just a styling CSS framework that allows us to easily add classes to our HTML tags, and we can add nice styling to our app easily. So what I'm looking for is this bootstrap.min.css file, and I can just copy it here by clicking on this, and I can add our styling within our title tag. And to do that, I could just type link rel equals style sheet and our href which is the link to our uh, bootstrap css that we just downloaded and i just need a little bit more screen real estate here and you can see that this is what we're working with so far and i want to refresh what we have so i can take a look and you can see that our styling has changed slightly bootstrap has some nice nav bars and stuff like that that's available so we might be using some of this throughout our course uh, I might also use cards as well. So it has some basic card styling and we'll probably use this when we're rendering all of our tasks that we create. So that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. In this episode so far, we've gotten started with creating our app demo and we've also installed our Bootstrap CSS and we are sure that we have Laravel and Valet running. 
So we're all set and we're ready to go on to our next episode. And our next episode, we're going to create a placeholder task creation form. So that's going to be a form that allows us to create our tasks. So thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the series so far, be sure to subscribe for the future videos so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And if you enjoyed this video in particular, be sure to give us a like and drop a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Thank you.